What are some of the creepiest unsolved mysteries? The disappearance of Michelle Crawford. She told her parents she was going to a movie with a friend the evening of June 8, 1999. She was never heard from again. Apparently her parents drove around and found her car. All the doors were locked except the driver's side and her purse, keys, other personal items were still in the car. There's a theory that she was actually killed and buried on her boyfriend's property in Mountain View, Oklahoma. Here's more information. Who killed Jeffrey Epstein? I know it's a joke but it's seriously creepy. Someone is powerful enough to literally overstep the most powerful institution in the history of the world and kill that man when he was in federal custody and get away with it. This act basically proves that America is no longer a republic. That there are people who are above the law and break it with impunity. And they are so scary that nobody in the media, political institutions or judicial system have the courage to say peep about it. Does anyone know the name of the college student believe he was at Ohio State that went out clubbing and was never found? Plenty of CCTV show him walking into the bar, but none of them show him ever leaving. The only real explanation that makes sense is that he got trapped behind a wall that was being built in an adjoining area of the bar as he was in. He's also potentially part of the smiley face murders if those are in fact a real thing and not just coincidence. The Dyatlov Pass incident was an event in which nine Soviet hikers died in the northern Ural Mountains between February 1st and 2nd, 1959. What exactly caused the death of them still remains a mystery. What was found is that the level of radiation was really high. Some of them had their clothes ripped apart, the tongue of one was missing, some of them tried climbing trees, etc. Maybe one of the creepiest cases out there, in my opinion. Yuba County 5. Five friends went out to a basketball game only for four of the five to be found dead in the forest near a U.S. forestry camp. The only unaccounted person was also the who wasn't mentally handicapped. Lot of little strange things including a witness that says there was a family of three that were there too. Overall it's a strange case and if you want to watch a video in it next I did a great video. It staked my life that lots of culprits from Killers of the Flower Moon never got caught. Not necessarily creepy by the standard definition. But think about all of the plotting and coordinating and arrogance and racism involved in the whole affair. Emo it's a miracle anyone went to prison at all. And then there are the actual victims that are too numerous to mention. Really makes you think. I'm from Western PA and will always be curious about Ray Gregor. Center County District Attorney, went missing in 2005. His car, cell phone and laptop were found in Lewisburg with the hard drive removed, which was located in the Susquehanna River. 3A73 a text 3J Frank Gricker 282FCB88C9A12 not been heard from since. Provs flow on. Dot the Cleveland Chorsa murderer. From 1935 to 1938. There was a serial killer who chopped off the heads and appendages of 1220 people and left their torsos for people to find. The famous detective Elliot Ness was on the case, and the killer taunted him by leaving two torsos within full view of his office. The killer was never identified, nor were the majority of the victims. Firstly, the murder of John Benet Ramsey. Just the idea that her own parents might have done it is disturbing, especially considering the circumstances and also the Cuddy Cabin murders. Not only did the 14-year-old daughter of one of the victims find them tied up and stabbed to death, three more kids were still asleep in the bedroom, having no idea what had happened. That Asian chick that saw something in an elevator, looked terrified and they ended up finding her body in a water tank on top of a hotel with no explanation how she got in or something if I remember correctly. All kinds of paranormal theories. I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about. Michael Palmer disappeared while riding his bike down a Wasilla, Alaska Road on June 4, 1999. No sign of him ever again after that. Ever. Nothing. Years later, his brother also went missing. Totally vanished. Both brothers, totally gone. No sign, no rumors, no nothing. Why some people feel comfortable referring to Elisa Lam as that chick or the Asian chick? Have some respect for the victims at least. Plus her family have asked random weirdos to stop obsessing over her death and stop spreading out fake theories to respect her and her relatives. Why the Pentagon Department investigating a $2.4 trillion loss was destroyed by a missile on 9-11. Wiping out the staff and documents. No wings or engines were found. Thought this poor girl was a no pair from Sweden living in Boston and was murdered. No one has ever been charged and from what I've read they have no suspects. There's a crime that happened in Egypt four months ago. You wouldn't believe it the three criminals admitted the crime with a certain scenario and it's still a mystery called Sahil's doctor case, 
Some people believe the scenario is fake even they claimed it. I did the story behind it but saw a picture on the internet a long time ago of a billboard with a kid on it and a message from the parents saying we will never stop looking for you. It always randomly comes to mind and breaks my heart every time. The yogurt shop murders. I don't like to dwell on that case. Horrific act of sexual violence to children and the cops let the killers get away when it was obvious who the killers likely were. And now they're still out there. Another thing that is creepy, is the possible number of unknown unidentified further victims of Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gacy, Jeffrey Dahmer, Dennis Nielsen, Fred and Rose West, and many more serial killers. Martin Croft Devils in Finland Poltergeist case that went to the court in late 1800s and there were testimonies given under oath about the experiences that went around there. The yoga teacher who was killed in the church, she had a class very early in the morning, I don't remember the name, but there's a video on YouTube of the killer wearing a police uniform. The creepiest unsolved mystery I've ever heard of is the mystery of how Historical Facts 2023 became such an unhinged loser. Every time I go to my local bar I hear people talking about it. The disappearance of Trevor Dealey, it's coming up on 23 years. I hope his family can get closure. Who flung the poo? But on a serious note, western shore of Canada or USA in that particular region body parts wash up on shore non-header torso usually. I'm convinced the people who make these threads also run the TikTok accounts who repost the best answers in these threads. The Cider Children the case is really strange, and some of the events following like the heart found her very odd. What about that exchange student chick who was found dead in the water cistern on the roof of that hotel? Albert Fish with the story of a child sitting on his lap in front of her parents still gets to me. Who stole my pudding not creepy yet but they'll be haunting me by the time I'm done with him. The burger chef murders. Never solved. Asha Degree. Leoki. The Springfield 3. 